Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're going to be testing out a T2 Solo Jackdaw fit for Darks. Um, this is a pretty cheap fit. I want to test it out. It's a rocket fit. So you've got rockets right here. And it's a bit of a hybrid fit. <laughs> I like hybrid fits in general. But I thought it would be quite fun. And the idea here is that in dark sites, you're going around pretty quick. You have a reduced optimal range of the enemy ships. So often you're going to be taking damage until you actually are real close and personal. So that's why I want it to be is that I, you can sort of just survive long enough to get out of range of the enemy ships. So you've got a bit of like a beefy shield extender right here. And then you've got a medium shield extender, uh, shield booster as well that I can use just to, just to boost myself up in the time it takes me to take out these NPCs. Because I've got 400 DPS so I can do quite a bit of damage. Cause quite a bit of pain actually to these guys. So we're on tranquility to not test server uh, stuff right here. One cycle right there. Popped. Rogue drones over here. We're not cap stable with the shield booster. We're, we're able to use it for two minutes. But I'm guessing that we should be able to take damage for about two minutes in the T2 Abyss before we can neutralize some of them. Oh, we got T4 straight off the bat. That's pretty cool to see. I could have made as well be in a T, T4 electric and would have got like 90 million or something like that. And pop this there. And another one I'm thinking is that. This fit is using a cam battery here. It might be being good with a capacitor booster. I don't know. Since if we're not, you're only using the shield booster for a short amount of time, it might be good for the emergency situations if we were to ever need a shield booster. And we apply pretty decently with the rockets over here. I'll pop this guy too. The good thing about the dark sides is they tend to come pretty close because the, we, since we the enemy's optimal range is reduced, they they try to come closer because they've got so short optimal range. So this is a good for our rockets because rockets just have so garbage dps usually <laughs> so it actually helps in some way in being able to do more damage even though we've not got like a weather effect that reduces the uh, enemy uh, resist but in some ways it makes it go quick as well and it makes everything go uh, get close to us okay they're going super fast here i think there's a tachyon cloud of some sort perhaps or oh, maybe it's just that there is a uh, it's the dark side let's see now not seeing to be able to Get close to this guy right here. They need to slow down a little bit, these damas. Let's take out the damas. They're not going to be able to really hit anything. I think it'll be better with Nova Rage. Approach right here. And we just use our shield booster. Boost up the shields. Seems to go pretty smoothly. What kind of waves would I worry about here? Probably the Cinnabar waves I'm worrying about. They've got a pretty, they do a lot of punishment, but I've actually optimized my fit to be sort of like an anti Cinnabar wave. Got lots of EM resist. Yeah, I've got three EM shield modules, and it might be not a good idea. I've got two EM shield reinforcers right here, and a Pythium C type EM shield amp. But we have got pretty good EM uh, resist, and that's what Cinnabars do a lot of EM and, and explosive damage. Unfortunately, our explosive damage is on the low side. So perhaps I could swap out one of these rigs for an explosive one. That could maybe be an alternative. I just thought that the EM damage type is going to be really good to resist because it's also a damage type we'll encounter in the Sancho waves. We can uh, make our way towards the transfer point now, I think. Now we should stop boosting because we're just wasting our capacitor. Pretty good hits we're getting right here. They're going out pretty quickly. And I mean, we're doing the really high DPS ammo, we're getting hits all the time. It's not like we're missing or anything. Uh, like the benefit of missiles, we missiles we don't have to like think about the transversal or anything like that. So we're just always going to get hit uh, hits because I mean, if we were doing exotics, I can imagine they would be a bit further away. We would have maybe missed a bunch because they would be keeping a range a bit further away. It would go quicker because in some way that we will reduce the explosive resist so we could target that resist type. But I think there definitely are benefits to the dark side as we're doing right here. Grab the loot, go to the next room and boost up to my four shields. We can always switch over to javelin if we really need to get that little extra DPS increase. Let's see now what I've got here. Attack a marshal, okay. We'll go for the little, uh, these little frigates. They're going to be causing some problems. We can maybe even go with the sharpshooter mode, perhaps. It'll make us, or the speed mode, it'll make us get closer to, have an easier time getting closer to the marshal. I just don't know if we're going to be able to hit, because they're not going to, oof, taking a lot of damage right here. 
That's just uh the marshal is doing a ton of damage actually. Let's see if we can get through it. We just need to keep speed up. Keep speed up. Keep speed up. Might need to go in defense mode actually. Yeah, I'll go in defense mode. Because this is pretty crazy what kind of damage we're taking right now. I have to overheat this damage as well. A little bit. 5k. And shield boosters. And the afterburner as well. That's because we're taking so much damage right now from this guy. I'm surprised how much he's able to apply to us. I think it's just because we're a destroyer, so we're just going to be doing so much damage naturally. Okay, now we stop with the shield booster. Stop overheating that. Stop overheating that. We should be fine now. Good. Now this is actually pretty deadly right here because we are taking uh, taking so much damage from these guys. A lot more than I would have expected in a dark side. I was thinking you'd take less damage. Marker pacifier, disparage troop doing so much damage. He's doing thermal. It could that's why because if we had better thermal resist, we probably really would have had an easier time. So it could be an option maybe to just increase the thermal resist as well if we were to uh, like increase one of those uh, uh, resist profiles in our rigs. Could maybe help a bit in these kind of situations. Because I mean, if we had neuters here, we would have been toast. We would have stood no chance. We would have been taking so much damage from both the marshals and the pacifiers. I know have killed us very quick. So that could be an option to get through this a bit quicker. A bit more safely, I mean. We can uh, get the biocommutative cache over here. That's pretty quick completion time right there. Eight minutes. Nice to see, nice to see. Oh, did a quick test right there in the jackdaw. Let's do another one. Go to the the citadel out here and get a bit of repairs going on. Hmm, just thinking which resist profile we should use. It's 63 here. Oh, we've got a bunch of uh, triglavians. <laughs> I saw triglavians over there. Let's see if we've got any in uh, the keep stuff. Maybe I'll go with explosive because we've got so little explosive resist. It could be important. Because marshals can also do explosive. Most of them, however, do do thermal. Okay, is there thermal shield reinforcer? Ah, overpriced. Can repair here. We'll just go with the same fit then. Do a bit of a torch test. Of the agitated dark. Let's go. Okay, a bunch of sleeper guys. Should be easy. I think we'll just need to continue and we'll just blast them down. He gets to do a bit of damage. See, just whoever comes in close, we'll take him out first. Means that Fialtas over here is the one thing to take the first hit. We should be going in sharpshooter mode, actually. Popped. Oh, they're now going far away. Grab that. That's very bad loot. Shields are holding pretty well. We can even move to maybe reduce a bit of the incoming DPS, but we'll be fine. We've taken out a lot of the D incoming DPS already. Okay, let's reload our missiles right here. And keep it range 500. Just waiting until my shields are max so we are prepared for the next wave. Charybdis Tyrannos, okay. I'll just move quickly with the propulsion mode. Charybdis is going pretty speedy over there. Oh, it took big hits. A wrecking shot. Typical, typical, typical. Can't not get a wrecking shots from Charybdis Tyrannus. 
Go a little bit to the side right here. Keep uh, the transversal up. Why am I taking damage? I'm going in a dark side. Perpendicular to his shooting arc. I was thinking transversal should be enough there, but apparently not. It's a bit of the downside of the jackdaw is you don't have that speed that you would have in a frigate. So that you can kite stuff really well. Let's go to sharpshooter mode. Can we miss, please? Yes, yeah, this is missing. Okay, that's good. I think it's also because we've got less webifiers on grid. Go to speed mode now. Not as easy as I thought this is. Not as easy as I thought. Go with sharpshooter now to get some decent damage going on. The, the skybox is green. It's not usual for a dark side to be green like that. No! Just one more hit I needed and he's... And then I go and reload, obviously, as well. Just one more percent <laughs> needed. But that's when I switched to, to the propulsion mode, so... The range is really short on the jackdaw in propulsion mode. land a javelin volley right here got 25 kilometer range of these one point seven million only unfortunate unfortunate what have we got here okay a bunch of angel frigates should be easy I think echoes are gonna be annoying because they web burst out so much and we're using rage yeah why is this lowest resist? Explosive would be best. Or kinetic. I got an explosive. Nova Rage. And go with uh, Shield Booster. They go down really fast. These rocket jackdaws. <laughs> I think I might know why Kerbis was hitting us really good as well. Because we had th minus 30% optimal range. It can be 50% is a little bit like, more favorable to reducing their optimal range. We only had the 30% variant, which hardly made his optimal range any different than it usually is. That was a really easy angel wave. Easy. Barely had to use my shield boost even. Let's get out of here. That's T2 cheap hybrid jackdaw. Seems to be alright, seems to be very alright. That martial weapon is pretty scary. And Kyrgyz is also pretty scary. It's just I like I think that the T3 destroyers, they're pretty difficult to use at times because of just the you know, you sometimes have a really big sitting condition radius or you don't have good DPS. It's hard to get everything at once. Uh, I prefer to use these, I would say, in a co-op style we have remote reps where you just naturally really tank and you don't have to think too much about like kiting or anything like that. Well, you do, but not so, as much. It's still pretty fun to fly, actually. I would say it's pretty fun to fly because you just charge in and just rocket away. So it goes pretty quick, uh, pretty quick completion times we've got going on. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.